Hello and welcome to Let's 100% Vice, or I guess it'll just be Vice City 100%. So in this part, I'm going to get everything necessary for what is considered 100%. This is, I believe, the last Rockstar game where 100% pretty much was 100%. You really did need to get every hidden package, every unique jump, every rampage in this game. Um... In San Andreas, they did change it. So this is the final true 100%. As opposed to San Andreas, where you actually don't need the... Uh, the... What's it, what's it, what's it called again? The... <clears throat> unique jumps. Anyway, uh, according to my bandy cam, this has a frame rate of 3,000. So hopefully this, my, uh, this recording won't fuck up. But anyway, let's start. Tommy Vassetti? Ha! <laughs> Shit! Didn't they never let him out? He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vercetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months, then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Hey, hey, guys, it's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, 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 great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So uh, if all goes well, we should, uh, be doing very nice to ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the uh, the business, and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! I poke my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovels shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. All right, well, that's a rough way to enter Florida, but I assume that's just the standard way of entering. Anyway, gotta avoid copyright infringement. It keeps the place safe. Trouble is caused by unemployment, and unemployment comes from poor economic performance. Alright, now unfortunately, of course, I have to uh, not be able to listen to the soundtrack in this game because, man, uh, unfortunately I just don't want to get my channel taken down. We interrupt your programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has devastated five Caribbean islands and is heading for Vice City. More up. Oh, well, I probably shouldn't have interrupted that, but yeah, that is the reason for the, uh, 
for the bridges not being accessible. So as it stands, Tommy's first day in Vice City, he is completely restricted to the Eastern Island. So I have to be here the entire time. Alright. So, the first thing I'm actually going to be doing is collecting the hidden packages. While I waited t for the second episode previously to collect all the hidden packages, uh, because in this game, because in this one I don't know how you can access the other islands without cheating, uh, I'm instead going to, uh, collect them piece by piece. So this is going to be all of the hidden packages on the first island, or the, uh, eastern island, if you will. Some of these are a little more out of the way than others, but they have some nearby benefits as well. For whatever reason, there's always just been this gun here. I could have sworn that it was a nicer gun than this, but, yeah. It's something, so that I don't have to go to ammunition or do any crazy business to get any more weapons. I believe there may also be, uh, some weapons here? And it looks like no, but what there is here is hidden package. I actually still don't know what the hell these packages are to this day. It's like some just some weird goblin thing. But anyway, so so far we've only collected like four hidden packages. We're going to collect our fifth. Now, after this fifth one, I'm going to finish up the mission and then collect the rest of the hidden packages on this island. The number will come out to 31 or 30, I can't remember. Now, you might think, okay, uh, you are just gonna, you're, uh, you're gonna, damn it. <laughs> and yeah, that's the, that's the kind of the negative thing about the motorcycles in this game, or Fagio, if you will. Sounds French. Oh. Oh, got, hang on, gotta heal the feature. I think that they added this. Oh, shit! Crap. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so what I was trying to do there was punch the fugitive that the cop was chasing. But, um... Yeah, I accidentally somehow- my mouse wheel, like, overrolled, and so I got my... Shit! I was trying to get out of my- my motorcycle, or my vehicle. Okay, so, yeah, motion view hotel to enter the building. Thankfully, my wanted level has gone down. But, yeah, one thing you can do is that if somebody's being chased by a police officer... What you can do is actually just, uh, you can just, uh, <clears throat> uh, you can just punch them, uh, you can just start punching them and you'll actually get money for it. You can also keep whatever money they had that they dropped. But, uh, yeah, oh, great. So this is kind of an annoying thing about, uh, about this game is that if, on any menu, if you X out and you're still, like, on the center or on a map, your mouse wheel- mouse movement is actually disabled. But if you move on to the black, it should be just fine. What?! Oh, great. Okay, there. Whatever. It, like, it's just some weird selection crap. But anyway, let's, uh, talk to Sunny. Hello, Sunny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible! Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Man, that's a rough situation. So our next mission is actually to talk to the lawyer uh, we were speaking to earlier, Ken Rosenberg. 
we still have something to do, which is getting the hidden packages. Now, I'm going to be doing this just like last time in the form of a montage. The best kind of information uh, compression. And here's the only one I'm going to mention by itself, which is the hidden packages. So for the rest of this, I'm going to be skimming through them one by one. If I have anything to note with how you have, with like how it's, uh, how you could specially get these, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll like cut out of the montage. But otherwise, enjoy the show. our first reward body armor while while I already found body armor nearby it's actually really nice to have body armor at all your hideouts or not all your hideouts your primary hideouts I should say And no, it's not a good idea to climb up here with the bike because if you get because you can't collect hidden packages while on a vehicle. Meaning that if you tried to do that with this thing, you would actually just fall off and well you wouldn't die because fall damage is hilariously weak in this game. But you would end up like uh you would just not get it. chainsaw that sounds like a really really cool item but the thing is in this game it's kind of lame they made it a bit cooler in san andreas but in this one it feels too stiff and robotic the most often wait hang on a minute oh shit press the button one too many times shit but yeah they, they gave you a good citizen bonus for uh, taking down some uh, rap scallions and somebody just tried to carjack me there but anyway, we're actually down to our final three, uh, our final three, oh boy, Pro uh, hidden packages. Now, I left two of them, uh, oh, more body armor. I left two of them, uh, to the end, even though, like, uh, my, uh, every time I've done this, I've done it more in the middle. But it's because I don't like to go out here that often, and that is the two lifeguards. Or, or the two the two ones that are by life uh, that are by the lifeguard area, because they're kind of obnoxious to try to get out to, and they're also kind of hard to find because even if you tr even if you like did this like a, a ton of times, like it'd be very tricky to remember it because all the damn uh, there aren't that many what's it called uh, shoot road maps. That's not it. What the fuck am I trying to say? Uh, there aren't that many recognizable things to be able to distinct, to, to be able to, like, know, oh, it's here, it's here, it's here. 
In this one, all I remember is that it's behind a sign, and the other one is by a life raft. Or not a life raft, a life guard post. Is this it? What the fuck? Jock Sport. I think it's it. Yep. So yeah, behind the Jock Sport sign, and the other one is by... Yep. And a 357. I believe this is actually a bit of censorship. Uh, in the original, I think it was just referred to as the Colt Magnum. Now it's called the Point .357. Uh, the thing is, though, I'm really sad, because I was hoping that I could use my PS2 version to try to, like, compare. But unfortunately, I looked up- I looked in my fucking shelves, and I'm like, Oh no! I don't have it anymore! The, in fact, I don't have GTA 3 anymore, which also makes me sad. Somehow I don't have either one of them. Which is really unfortunate. I was hoping to make a full compare and contrast sort of video. Okay, so I think this is it. Yep. And with this, I have collected every hidden package in this side of the island. There is, I think, three more that I could get, but they're kind of a pain in the ass. So instead, I'll just leave that up to next time. So join me next time when we go back to our lawyer, Ken Rosenberg, and properly start on the missions. But only this time... <laughs> we'll have a chainsaw, a body armor, and a magnum to work with. See you guys then. It's been too long. <sighs> Why know, is it so crowded in well Sunny's fucking place? 15 years. It's like, it sounds like 15 people are in there. Yes, that's